Nicola Goodwin is with John Harrington from the Hereford Transport Forum at the Belmont Roundabout this morning. It's just starting to get pretty busy here at the Belmont Roundabout, which is outside as the supermarket in St Martin Street in Hereford. Now, I haven't actually had a chance to count them all because there's so many, but I'm told that there are now 16 sets of lights, plus the new ones that were added um, to make an extra slip lane to go into the supermarket a few years ago. John, what do you think the problem is with this island here in particular? Well, you know what I think the problem is. There's too many lights. There's, there's, there's one too many, let alone 16 too many. We shouldn't have any lights here. We have a what used to be a roundabout. It should go back to being a roundabout. We should allow the natural courtesy and progression of traffic to take us forward and to make maximum use of the road instead of having artificial stops and gaps all the time. We're looking at the road now. There's people waiting on either side and there's no one using the, the, the alternative junctions. That could all be space that would be used up if we went back to the old-fashioned system. And if you turn around, actually, what I can see and you couldn't is that they're doing the same the other side as well, aren't they? Exactly. They're waiting now. Everyone, all the poor lemmings, as, as I am, waiting up Belmont Road and there's nothing happening on the main junction. They could all be using that space. They could be, they could be getting to work a lot quicker than they are. Now, as the Hereford Traffic Forum, you've actually met with the highways agency who control this stretch of road. What sort of, I suppose, hope have they given you? Are they willing to listen? They've actually been very good. Credit to them. There's a couple of guys we've been dealing with there, and they have been very, very good. And they are basically saying to us that if there's a political will, they will look at it closely. This is their responsibility. But they are in a city and they have to be respectful to the authority that's there. So we have then tried to approach the council. They weren't interested. As far as we know, it's going through three council farms. So the people in those farms will be losing their livelihood, I presume. Now this is the junction, it'll come off on the right. between the two roads at the moment, which of course is quite narrow and twisty. Now that, you know, that farm's probably going to... Okay. Now that nice coppice is... They may go either side of it, to be fair. But they are coming through, basically, coming through farmland. Of course, there is planning going in for a link road between the A49 and the A465, the two biggest roads south of us. That would link them together. Do you not think that would alleviate the traffic? I don't think the link roads have got anything to do with alleviating traffic, and we know that. The council have themselves have said it's to do with unlocking land for development. So it's got nothing to do with solving our problems. Dumping uh, more houses once the link roads are built is not going to help our, our, our issue here. It's got nothing to do with it whatsoever. The, the Highways Agency have said 
but 12 to 15 percent of the traffic only is through traffic. So everyone is actually trying to get into Hereford. Having a bypass, like in Worcester, won't make much of a difference. They are trying to push a narrative that if we have a bypass, it's going to solve all our problems. It isn't. The bypass is to build houses, we know that, it's to unlock land. It's not going to help the traffic problem we have coming through the centre of town because everyone wants to get to work. That countryside is not simply going to have a road in it, that countryside is going to have houses in it as well. So this is where it's going to come out. from the city centre. You can also see lots of traffic coming onto these roads, not just from further down to the west of the county, but from the big housing estates of Belmont and Newton Farm. And everybody is trying to get into the centre of Hereford. It's causing tremendous problems, especially from anyone coming in from the south of the city. People have to take their children to school an hour and a half in advance. People are trying to get to work, have to go to work an hour and a half in advance to try and get through the traffic. You have to get to the Belmont roundabout uh, at least seven o'clock if you want to get through town.